welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I like to take on a day walk. And I've got a couple of new things from MacPack, which I haven't actually tried out yet, um, but I'd like to share my thoughts on them so far. So we're going to start with clothes. It's really important to be prepared for the weather to turn. Usually when you go hiking, you check the forecast and it's good weather. Sometimes, if you're a risk taker like me, you'll be sitting out in the rain, but most of us, most of the time, like to sit out when it's nice and fine. So, I like to wear sneakers when I go hiking, and I've got these really sturdy socks. The thing with sneakers that you want to watch is your ankle, because some people say that you can twist your ankle more easily, but one of the benefits to wearing sneakers is that they dry out a lot faster when you've been crossing rivers, and they're just, I find them a lot more comfortable because I'm quite prone to blisters, as many of us are. Moving on to what I'm wearing on my bottom half, I've got these really lightweight shorts. They're actually swimming shorts, um, so they do dry quite fast if you're wading through a river and they get wet. And then for my top, I'm wearing a nice breathable merino. You can roll up the sleeves if you're getting hot and then put them down if it's just a little bit chillier. And this is my new day pack by Mac Pack. And then I've got my sunglasses on for if the sun gets really bright. And of course, sunscreen. Now let's just say I'm on my day walk. It's getting cold. It's starting to rain. What do I do? I stop. Hopefully I've found some kind of shelter. Maybe around the corner on a hill where the wind's not hitting as hard and I'm not getting as wet. And then I quickly roll my sleeves down. Pop on another thermal. on my beanie and you'll notice I'm focusing on the upper part of my body first because that's um, the most important to keep warm because that's where your heart is obviously and then take off my shoes and I can put these leggings on over my shorts to save time they breathe really well as well the merino and then I quickly pop on my fingerless gloves And my raincoat. And put my shoes back on. And just like that, I'm a whole lot warmer. So that's how easy it is to transition from a warm summery day to all oh, suddenly the weather's turned and it's cold and you can stay warm. And that's what's so important in the outdoors. So that's why I recommend, if you've got, even if you're going for a day hike, to pick an extra layer of clothes just to keep you that little bit warmer. So an extra layer of merinos, um, a raincoat, a hat, gloves, even a scarf. Next up, I've got these brand new walking poles, which I haven't tried yet, but the handles are really comfortable and you can shrink them so that they fit inside your hiking bag. So I'm so looking forward to using these because they're like an extra pair of legs and they really help you keep your balance, especially in river crossing. So I definitely recommend some poles. I haven't had poles for a few years now because my last set of poles got washed away when I was crossing a river. So ah, be careful. <laughs> Next up, I've got a torch. Make sure that your torch has a battery and it's fully charged and everything like that. Um, this, I know that we're talking about what you take on the day hike, but you never know if something goes wrong and you're caught out and you're there in the night time, it would be good to be able to see. So take a torch. And then I've also got track notes. Um, you can take a map as well. Um, if you know the route really well, you probably won't need this, but it's always helpful to have track notes and a map. I'll grab my map. So grab your track notes and your mat, and then sunscreen, really important. This is one of the only sunscreens I've ever tried that doesn't hurt my very sensitive skin, um, and it's 30 SPF and it seems to do the trick. Um, make sure you reapply if it's a very hot day and you're sweating it off. And then make sure that you take some food. I've got some bread and a banana here. Um, usually my tramping food's a little bit more exciting than that on the first day, or if I'm doing a day hike, it's usually more exciting than that. Um, that's just what I had to hand to show you, just to represent a snack or a lunch. And then I've got this really big water bottle. 
you might be wondering why I've got a metal water bottle and it just comes down to um, durability and the fact that it's not going to break, it's not glass and yeah it's a bit more eco-friendly than plastic and obviously you've probably heard that plastic breaks down and it makes your water taste funny so I recommend metal even though it's that bit heavier. I like to use tramping as my strength training. And then I've also got this vegan lip balm and I've got a tube of betadine or iodine which I put on any cuts that I get and any blisters that have popped just to make sure they don't get infected and it is quite fun to put on as well I will admit. Um, with this day bag I got it in dark blue because I thought that it wouldn't show the dirt as much and you can clean it with a scrubbing brush um, and you, you don't really put it, want to put it in the washing machine and it does look really cool. It's got a laptop compartment so it will double as a bag to use around town. One area I feel it could improve on is the straps. So it's just got this very small chest strap which feels quite flimsy. I think that I prefer for it to have a bigger strap around the waist and then a more sturdy chest strap. So I'm thinking of improvising and making one myself or taking it back to my pack and getting them to make one. But that's just a little comment. So overall, I think it's a good bag. Um, but I just think the strap situation could definitely be improved. Um, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope this was helpful. And now you know what to take on your next day hike if you're not very experienced. And if you are experienced, you probably have even better tips than me. So make sure you leave them below and we can all learn together. Thanks for watching. Kakite.